Well, today we are adding a lemon-themed cookie jar to our cookie jar collection. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this project is. All right, so we're gonna start our cookie jar like we do every month. We've got our strip of nice heavy white cardstock. This is 3 fourths of an inch wide by around four inches long. The measurement doesn't have to be exact. I'm rolling it around a Sharpie marker. I'm gonna mark where this meets so that I know that I don't want glue on this part, but I want glue here. And then I'm gonna pre-wrap this. That way it just gets a little bit easier to wrap it around. And I've got some, just some regular tacky glue here. Um, I don't recommend, I recommend using tacky glue. That's the only glue I've done this with because we are gonna put it in the oven. You want to be sure that you've got a glue that will not react and give off fumes in the oven. And I've not had any issues or seen any problems with the tacky glue. Um, you do want to let it dry completely before you go on to step number two. So we're gonna up there and put that there so that I've got glue right to the edge. And then roll it up really tight around your marker. And this is just so we have a nice finished looking inside on our cookie jar. It's a little bit easier to build the cookie jar on this little core that we're making, and it makes for a nice finished inside. So I'm gonna let that dry, and when it's completely dry, I'll come back and we will start adding our clay. All right, my glue has dried overnight. You do want to make sure this glue is really, really dry. And what I have here is just some original Sculpey. I do prefer to use a white clay for this layer, and original Sculpey is fine because we're not trying to get detail. We're not trying to, to do anything other than cover the outside of our paper core with a little bit of clay so we have something for our pretty part of our cookie jar to stick to. I rolled that up pretty thin, and now I'm going to cut. Try and cut this even with the top and the bottom. A um, little bit more difficult when I'm working with the camera because I can't put my head right over this to see I'm sitting back from my normal working position. So I want to cut enough to go around the outside of the cookie jar. And then we're going to cut. So we have just enough, and any overlap needs to be pulled out. There's just a little bit. Now, I have some TLS off to the side. Anytime we're putting anything, whether it's our cardboard, in, our cardstock inside here, or unbaked or raw clay and attaching raw clay to anything other than raw clay. In other words, our cardstock core. Uh, later we'll be adding more raw clay to our baked clay. We use TLS to act as a glue. I'll talk more about that in the blog post. We cover it every time we make one of these. But I will talk about it in the blog post a little more. And now we need to get this nice and tight. And it always seems to grow a little bit. That's okay. Work down. Oh, come on. Cooperate with me today. And then we're going to take a little bit more clay. First, let's trim this end. So this end doesn't look like that. And off camera, I'll do a little more fine tuning of this, but I'm going to cut 
this off so that it is pretty much just the same size. And I'm going to make sure, I'm going to use my fingers to kind of blend any bits of clay together here. When I'm satisfied that this is a nice smooth core, I'm going to put it into my oven that is preheated to the temperature that my clay requires. And I am going to bake this for 10 minutes for its first baking. Once it is baked and cooled, I'll come back and we'll start adding the fun parts of our cookie jar. So I'll be right back. All right, this is baked and cooled, and I realized when I pulled this out of the oven, I totally forgot to make the little plug that we're gonna build our lid on. So I'm gonna do that now. This is the same white clay, and I'm making a little snake here, and I want it to fit in the top. And then I'll cut just a slice, uh, probably a little less than a quarter inch, Hi, and I'm going to stick this on to double check it fits still. Yes, I'm going to stick this on to my baking plate, baking tray, so that this will get baked with our next part. I don't know why I forgot that. So now I have some yellow clay. This is Sculpey, just Sculpey yellow, and I'm going to knead it just a little bit here. Roll it out. And I'm going to, this is going to be a multi step baking process, just like most of our cookie jars are. So the first piece I'm going to add, I want to make it about half the height. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be precise. We just want to add a little bit of shape to the center of our cookie jar. Because we want it to have that, we want it to be rounded out, kind of bulged out. So I'm putting some TLS on. Run my knife under that clay so that it will pick up off of my tray. And I'm gonna put this in pretty much just down the middle. I would like to have this be a little bit more of a bulge than that's going to give. I'm going to take another really skinny piece and now I'm putting raw clay on raw clay so I don't need the TLS on this layer. This is going to make our lemon a little more lemony shaped. And I'm going to kind of use my finger to kind of soften this so that it's not a so there's not a big ridge there. Now this is going to go back in the oven for another 10 minutes. And when these pieces are baked and cooled, I'll come back and we'll add our outside to our cookie jar. All right, this is baked and cooled, and I see that I managed to get a little bit of a rough spot there. So I'm gonna use my knife and kind of even it up. There. So now we're gonna take some more yellow. And yeah, that shut off. work. So 
Now we need to coat the whole outside with TLS again. Anytime you're trying to attach raw clay to anything other than raw clay, it's a good idea to add the TLS. TLS is translucent liquid Sculpey and it acts as a glue. There are other products that can be used. Uh, Sculpey also makes Bacon Bond and there are other liquid clays, but you need something of that nature to glue the pieces together. It's okay if it doesn't cut completely clean because we're going to manipulate this around and kind of smooth things out. Oops, I'm going to do is cut this off a little bit off at the bottom. Well, I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'm gonna keep working on smoothing this out, just repeating what I'm doing right here, just working around and getting this smoothed out. Maybe by the time that's smoothed out, my neighbors won't be so loud in the hallway. So I'll be right back. All right, I've got that smoothed down a little bit. I also got out my cornstarch so I can put some on my hands and help me to kind of smooth this out. Now we do have a ridge there, so we're gonna add another layer of clay. I want to roll this out. Kind of lay it around it and we're just building up very thin layers. We don't want to put very much thickness on here because that will make our cookie jar way too fat. But I want to disguise the, um, the line there. Cut it off pretty flat with the bottom. We are going to add a little texture, which will hide some of that, too. Yeah, the cornstarch on my hands is helping a lot. My fingers are no longer sticking to the clay, so that's helping a lot. Set it down flat and cut this top off. actually going to use this. This is one of those sanding blocks or sanding sponges that you can get. I'm going to put just a very subtle texture on here. And now we're going to bake this for 10 minutes. And once this is baked and cooled, we can start working on a lid. So I'll be back when this is baked and cooled. All right, this is baked and cooled. So now we're gonna work on a lid. And I'm gonna start by creating a ball of clay. And I'm just kind of guessing at what size I want to start with. I want to Form this into a flat bottom. The reason we wanted to bake the cookie jar part first was I wanted to be able to form this right on the lid. And if it was still, if this was still raw clay, this might stick to it. I've got a little too much clay here, so I'm gonna pull off some.
that looks pretty good. I'm gonna... That. I'm actually gonna leave that on there for just a second while I get out just a tiny bit of green clay. And this is just a, I think it's emerald green by Sculpey. I'm not positive. Now, if you have a leaf shape cutter, that would be better. I don't currently. So I've got my little, my smallest round cutter, which is about, I think it's a three quarter inch. I'm going to cut myself a couple of half circles and then my dental pick out earlier. Okay, toothpick. Because this is raw clay. And you could add more leaves or fewer leaves. I'm just going to add two. Um, if I had more time than I have for doing the video, I probably would put three on, but, ah, come on, cooperate with me, Leaf, come on. There we go. And you could get fancy and you could put lines on your leaves. Very carefully remove this. Use my clay knife. Now, I'm going to pre bake this for 10 minutes, and then when this is baked for 10 minutes, I'll come back. We'll attach it to our pre baked disc, and then we'll bake it again to finish baking. So I'll be right back. All right, our lid is baked and cooled, so now we are going to glue this onto the bottom of it. I wanted to bake it first because that makes it a lot easier to not mess up. And we do have a little bit of an imprint of where our opening was. Put that there. I'm gonna transfer that to my baking surface. I'm going to bake this. And I'm going to bake it for, um, I'll bake it for 10 more minutes. It should be baked through by then. And then when it's baked and cooled, I'll come back and we'll put a clear finish on. All right, so we have our lid and our cookie jar. So if I can get the lid in the right spot, I had it on correctly a minute ago. So let's put a clear finish on. So to do that, what I like to do is take some of this poster tack stuff. Put that on a craft stick. And then gently put the cookie jar onto that. That way I've got the cookie jar corralled. It's not going to go anywhere. And I don't have to uh, touch the cookie jar. I don't get my fingers, I don't get my fingers all sticky. So, and I'm just going to put, this is clear, I forgot to say, it's, it's Gloss Mod Podge, a very, very, very thin coat of Mod Podge, especially gloss on clay will be fine. If you put on any thickness of Mod Podge, it can and many times does remain sticky. But if you put on a very, very thin coat, you can always come back and put a second thin coat on if you feel you need more. This seals it and makes the clay look a little nicer. 
So I am going to very carefully go around these leaves. And my leaves may be in a slightly different place than they were last time you saw this lid because as I took it out of the oven, I dropped it and knocked one leaf off. So I had to glue it back on with some TLS and then bake it again. Um, it's been an interesting project today. So I am going to get this coat of Mod Podge on very lightly. I've got to get some of that off. That is not going to stay on there. Okay. And I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to let this dry completely and then I'll be back. We'll look at the finished cookie jar and we'll see how it looks. All right, and there is our finished lemon-themed cookie jar. I think this turned out really cute, even though it did have a slight mishap coming out of the oven. I'll talk about that more in the blog post. Um, this one turned out really cute. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure and check the blog post. If you like the video, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. What kinds of themes would you like to see in future videos? If you enjoy my content and haven't subscribed, I encourage you hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching today and I will talk to you next time. Bye.